Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. We're playing Impulse again, and I wanted to wait until after our first stage show to see if maybe this game, you know, unfolded to have more of, you know, a Phoenix Wright style like it claims to have. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So yeah, so let's drink it up. You sure you want to do that before we go on stage, Joe? Look, I put a strict four beer rule in place. I don't even want to ask. I can only have four beers before we play. That way, I won't get drunk. Four beers is a lot to drink before a stage show. If you say so. All right, you ready to do this? You better believe I am. Hey, let me finish my beer. Oh my god, Joe is an alcoholic. We rocked it. It was awesome. Everyone really got into it. It was my first real performance in front of a crowd, and it was incredible. The adrenaline that runs through you, it's like nothing else. The art style changed a lot. I mean, of course I was nervous, but as soon as we started playing, it just changed. It turned into this awesome nervous energy. I'm not sure I can even explain it to you properly. It's just something you feel. So as the show went on, we ran through our 20 minute slot. It all happened so fast. It's an experience we'll never forget. Can't wait to do even more shows. After the show, we all grabbed some drinks at the bar and set up to watch Alana play. Hey, Laura. Hey, look at all the people. I wish they were here to watch us play. Do you think we'll even get, we'll ever get crowds this big? Maybe one day, who can say? We just gotta try our best. Right. I've gotta grab, I got up my game. Are you kidding me? We killed it up there. Nah, it wasn't enough. It wasn't big enough. It wasn't loud enough. It wasn't awesome. It was just, it wasn't awe-inspiring. I didn't inspire all. Oh my God, this girl's beating herself up. Look at how excited people are for Alana. She hasn't even started yet. Well, yeah, but she's practically a celebrity. That's all it is. It is? Do you really believe that? She's got a point. Alana does have a certain something. See, she's got something I don't have yet. So I gotta work harder. Yep. Hey, looks like she's coming out. She's got like goth girl hair. Thanks everyone for coming out. This is the first song I ever performed live for anyone. I hope I can count on your support on American Sweetheart. Yep, she definitely got it. The whole crowd is mesmerized by her. I can't blame them. She's special. I'll have to talk to her after the show. She's got talent for writing, too. This is a great song. I wonder what it would be like to be on a TV show like that. I guess life is never going to be the same for her. Those shows can really kickstart your career. Or they can ruin it. <laughs> Money, fame, it's all within reach for her. Am I jealous? Maybe a little. Thanks, everyone! Hey, great show! Thanks, I appreciate it. You guys were great to watch. Not to listen to, though. <laughs> Thanks, Any need any help with the gear? No, I've got it. Well, all right, I'm gonna take off. See you later. Let's get things wrapped up here. Huh? Hello? Hello? Can you turn the lights back on? I'm still in here. <gasps> Ooh, things are getting interesting! You bitch! Wh who's there? Ha 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 ha. No, don't come any closer. No. Let's get these lights on. Joe, give me a hand with the amps, will you? One second, brah. This guy. I wonder where Alana went to. I'm supposed to give her a ride back. Seems like everyone is just smoking and partying outside. What's this? Is someone there? Oh my god, look at her. Half her body's missing. Alana? Alana! Joe, someone, anyone, help. Oh my god, she's been stabbed! Holy shit! Dude, is she dead? Help, someone call an ambulance! Oh my god, she's missing half her body! <laughs> Thanks for your time, Chris. I know it's been a tough night. My name's Robert, here's my card. Sure, give me a call if you remember anything else, okay? Now go home and get some sleep. Sure, thanks, officer. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I guess. I still can't believe it. I know. Who would have done this? Why? Maybe someone was jealous. Maybe they held a grudge. My head is just spinning right now. I know what you mean. I'm going to call my roomie, okay? Sure thing. All right, I don't think it's Leek. She's actually sympathetic. Hey, how you holding up? Fine, you. I'll be okay. I'm worried about Laura. She's pretty choked up. I'm going to give her a ride home. You sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm going to give Leah a ride in the van. We'll be all right. Look, we should still practice tomorrow like we planned. We can talk about it then. Sure, get home safe. You too, man. Take care. Hmm. Sorry about that. All good? Yeah, shall we get out of here? You got it. 
home. It feels strange. Mom was asleep. I wouldn't wake her up at this time of night. It's night? It looks like it's daytime. I still can't believe what happened. It feels almost like a dream. A bad one. Still, I can't help but think who would do something like that. I have a feeling it's probably your crummy promoter, dude. Or worse, who did? I'll talk it over with the guys tomorrow. If I can remember anything, I'll always give that to police i always give that police officer a call. It might be important. Is it really 3 a.m.? I need to get some sleep. Where does he live? Alaska? If I even can. No, he lives in Seattle. It wouldn't be that bright at 3 a.m. Friday. Saturday. Dun dun dun. Is that supposed to be an ACDC shirt? I still can't work it out. What the hell happened? We were supposed to get back together. Well, maybe. She was going to be on TV and everything. Time to meet up with everyone to see what we can work out. Jeez. Hey, Laura. You're the first one here? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was spacing out a little. You thinking about last night? Yeah. It's so surreal. You hear about stuff like that happening on the news, you know? You never think it'll happen in your own life. I can understand that. You know I'm always here if you need to talk, right? I appreciate that, thanks. But I think I'll be okay. We gotta keep moving forward. Hey guys. Hey Lee, not with you? Nah, she's making her own way here this time. Tough night last night, huh? You can say that again. Hey. Whoa, the aura in this room is not good. Nothing we do about what happened, but we can find out who did it, right? Yeah, I'm with you there. Mm, but where do we start? Let's start with the who. Was Alana with anyone that night? Her parents were there, as well as what looked like a couple of friends with them. I didn't see her talking to anyone else that night. I was outside after we played, I didn't see her at all. Adam, Chris, remember? We thought Adam was being creepy. She looked weird when she spoke with him. I remember. Did we tell the police about that? It might be important. I agree. Should I call him? He gave me his card. Can't hurt. Well, alright. When do we get to play a game? This is just like a reading a fan fiction. There's no game. Robert speaking. Oh, hi, officer. It's Chris here from last night. I wondered if we could talk. Of course. Well, me and the band, I remembered some more details about last night. That's common. It can usually take some time to become clear. We'll have to add it to your statement. I'm actually down at Victoria now if you'd like to come by. Yeah, we can do that. See you soon. He wants us to head back to the Victoria to add to our own statement. I'm happy to go by myself if you want to stay here. No, I'm coming with you. There's no way in hell I let a creep like that get away with it. Well, I'll stay here with Joe. Fine with me. All right then, Lee, let's get going. Man, I wish there was at least one question that was multiple choice in this game so far. They don't waste time in cleaning up, I guess. The place is still close to the public, of course. It feels strange being back here where it happened. Hey, thanks for coming down. So what did you want to discuss? Well, we remembered something. Do you know Adam? Yes, he's the promoter of the venue. Yeah, we saw him talking to Alana that night. She looked awkward like he was trying to hit on her. We didn't see him for the rest of the night after that. I see. Did you hear what they were talking about? No, but it was obvious. He was a creep. You could tell she wasn't interested at all. Hmm, I see. Was there anything else you remember? No, I think that's about it. Everything else I already told you. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be useful. What do you mean, not useful? Well, between us, we're not looking at Adam as a suspect. He has an alibi for where he was last night. So you didn't arrest anyone? We don't have any suspects right now. Look, it has to be him. He's obviously lying. I mean, who else would it be? I appreciate your concern, but we'll take it from here. I mean, obviously it's someone who's mentally unstable because they laughed when they stabbed her. <laughs> uh, so maybe, like, start doing some checks around. You gotta at least question him. Lee, drop it. Thanks for your time, officer. Chris, what the hell? Look, we can talk to him later. Thanks again, officer. Anytime. You guys take care. What the hell do you think you were doing? Those guys are useless. It has to be him. All right, now I think Doth protests too much. Maybe she is trying to pin it on him, and she's the one who did it. Look, you're upset. We got to talk through this. I mean, usually a killer needs a, a motive, right? Why don't we head back to the practice room and see if we can work something out? Joe and Laura might remember something, too. Fine. If the police can't do their damn job, we'll do it for them. I didn't realize you were so affected by last night. I just hate creeps, that's all. And now she's blushing? What? She was a nice girl. If you tried anything with me, he'd know about it. Why are guys assholes like that? I don't really know. I know you're not a creep. The jury's still out on Joe, though. Ha ha ha. 
I think Joe is just special. Should we head back? Sure thing. Oh boy. Huh. <sighs> so how'd it go? Well, we told him. He said they're not investigating Adam at all. What? Yeah, they don't have a clue who did it. They don't even have a suspect. What? That can't be. Me and Lee were talking on the way back. We're talking on the way back, sorry. <laughs> we gotta work out if Adam was really involved. Well, how are we supposed to do that? We gotta come up with a theory. Killers are supposed to have a motive. If we can work out what his motive was, we might be able to see it more clearly. Okay, well, where do we start? Let's start with why he was there that night. Okay, on the next few screens, characters will voice their thoughts. Click on a thought you want to investigate further, or on the next to hear another. You won't be punished for a wrong answer, so keep trying to work it out. Okay, let's set the scene. At the venue that night, Alana was there with her family and friends in the corner. Was there anyone else there that knew Alana that night? Uh, maybe one of them. No, I don't think that's it. Let's look at it again. Oh, okay. Well, people from her school knew her. Mm, oh, oh, okay. Well, let's talk to somebody else then. Adam was there. He got her the gig. I think there's more to the story with Adam. Lee, you're right. Adam got her the gig and brought us on board, too. Sure, but how did he get her the gig? I mean, with the TV show, she could have played anywhere. Well, let's look at that. Hmm. Some stuff, maybe they already knew each other. Oh, okay. Sorry, let's go back to what's his face? Blonde guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's more likely. You know what, Joe? I think your explanation makes the most sense. Really? Yeah, they seemed really familiar. It makes sense that they'd already known each other. Okay, but if that's the case, why was he being so creepy? Well, uh, did he just want to get lucky? Maybe. He must have been trying to take advantage. Maybe she was drunk. I think it's more basic than that. Maybe he just liked her. He just liked her. They already knew each other. Maybe he did have a crush. Okay, Laura, I get that he might have had a crush on her, but do you remember when we spoke to him about the gig? He was strictly business. Maybe that's an angle we should explore too. Uh, okay, so maybe he was just looking for an opportunity to make money. Yes. Money, right. If he's a businessman, he wants to get paid. You might be onto something there, Laura. She was about to become super famous. He wanted to ride that wave. Maybe he was trying to pressure her into another gig? Some kind of deal? I think he wanted to be on the TV show too, dude. No, I don't think that's it. Let's look into it again. Okay. Uh, why would he want to be on the TV show? Maybe he just wants some introductions. I think he just really, really wanted her. Jeez. Don't give me the option to hit next if it's going to be that. All right. I think he just really wanted her. She might have a point there. Lee, do you know if Adam is popular? I never met the guy before the gig. It's safe to assume he's not. Well, in that case, could he just want to be popular? I suppose. We can't rule that out. He did try to make a deal with Alana, can we? She's right, but we're on to something. I can sense it. So I guess we got two possible options. Either he wants to be popular or he was working from a money angle. I see either of those would be a good motive. Dude, motive of what? Wanting to be liked? To make money? Not of murder. Whatever it is, Joe. She rejected him. That's gotta hurt. It's gotta be him. No. Look, we're not gonna work it out unless we get more information. What do you suggest we do then? We're gonna have to take a look around the venue. And how exactly are we supposed to do that? The cops are there. We'll have to distract them. Somehow. Let's do it tomorrow. We'll think of something. Or at least I hope we will. We can't leave this unfinished. We can't let him get away. We made some progress today. I just can't understand why the police haven't arrested anyone. Because they don't have anybody. I saw the CSI guys in white coats there. Did they get any fingerprints or anything? Sigh. I'll have to think of some kind of distraction for Robert tomorrow. It's like the brain... This brain is the only place I can think clearly. Jeez, this poor kid. He's got so much on his plate. All right, well, at least now we have some sort of gameplay happening, but it's not even like gameplay because it tells you when you get it wrong, so you have to keep clicking until you get it right. Um, so again, I feel like this isn't much like 
Phoenix Wright at all. It's just kind of like a keep clicking until you get to the end of the story game. There's no actual gameplay. Uh, so once again, this is from Steam. Uh, if you guys like this video and you want to see another gameplay video from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody!